Great, so uh, welcome to the second part of the series. In the first part, we saw the basics, and now we are going to see the deep, detailed analysis of the Keiko. Uh, so uh, we are going to move in from the title position here. We both are engaged uh, in, in our locked positions, as you can see, so let's move ahead with this. Uh, we are trying to both semi each other and trying to attack each other and trying to see how, how, you know, how strong is Kensen is. I am at this point, you know, semi-hing uh, semi -hing downwards. He's also semi-hing downwards. So we are going to basically see three kinds of semi that we talked about in the lesson. Uh, right side, left side, downwards. So this three keeps moving. Right side, left side, downwards. So first, let's have a quick look at the, the right side semi. So what is a right side semi? So here you see, I'm going to move to 1019. So here you can see that um, I'm going to semi him, semi him, you see that? And right, you you see. So uh, once again, let's go back. Right side semi and go for the man as soon as possible. This is called right side semi. So you go right, here right. You see, I went right and struck his shinai down and poof, it on his man. His kaishido was a bit late, so I already had the man. So this is an example of the right side. Uh, semi. Now I'm going to show you uh, what the downside semi. So in the downside semi, look at the the pressure. Uh, it's very important to have a look at the pressure. Okay. So you see here, uh, there, there is uh, here. Kazakhstan is training with him, with with him, and you see uh, he stress steps in. He's stepping in. He's stepping in. And at this point, at the exact point of about 818, he does this uh, backside. You see this one? Yeah. His shinai goes down, right? This is down semi. So the down semi is really, really menacing because you are pushing the opponent to come at you. So he's here, he's here, and then takes the so down, down semi. Now, in response to his down semi, which is very powerful, his opponent, who is shorter, also does the down semi. So when they both do down semi, they kind of like cancel each other. So both the opponents are six down and above, very strong. So they each understand what the other guy is trying to do. So this is a good example of down semi. From down semi, uh, he he found that his his technique or the the opponent didn't move. So he comes back to the normal, right? This is an example of a down semi. Now uh, uh, moving on to the. Uh, fight for the center. I would like to also show you the left semi and with the fight for the center. So let's go to uh, 1038. Here I, I can show you an instance where such a thing is happening. So I am uh, engaging with the, the opponent. All right. And uh, look at look at now. Look look at this now. So I'm going to have a I'm I'm uh, trying to have a feel of uh, what kind of a opponent is he, how how strong is he, and I'm going to enter, 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 and then he's going to make a left semi. He's going to make a left semi. You see that he made a left semi, and me I'm going to uh, remove my shinai from there, get back to the center, get back to the boom, and hit him men. So this is an example of left semi and how I got it back and how I could attack his men clean. Uh, next, I would like to show you one of the techniques which is called Hikimen, which is backwards technique. So when the body is backwards, you make a point, it's called Hiki. Hiki Waza. Hiki Waza is backward technique. So here, look, I summoned him, uh, no use because he, he kind of, uh, now look at him. I did, I did the men, but, but actually the men was useless because uh, I couldn't hit him. But as soon as I did that man, he kind of uh, dropped his guard. As soon as he dropped his guard, I went backwards hitting him with the Hikiman. So this is a Hikiman strike, which needs from coming. So let's have a look at it again. So he blocked. So my man is useless because he blocked it. But after the after I finished the man, he removed his hands. As soon as he removed his hands, I make a Hikiman. Okay, Hikiman backwards. Hit. Look, boom, you see? And going backwards. So this is an example of a Hikiman, which is done backwards. Here I'd like to show you that what happens if the semi doesn't work. Look at him. This this uh, big man here, he tries to enter, but you see the other guy, the, the, the guy who is shorter, he has a center. What happens when the opponent has the center and you try to move inside or you try to hit him, what happens? Look, 
he moves in, he moves in, he hits, but she is blocked. His, his shina is completely blocked. So his, his technique becomes useless because he didn't have the center in that. But look at the, look at the opponent. I mean, even at Zanshin is holding his center, even when this opponent is going backwards. So both of them are so strong, uh, difficult to move, move each other, all right? Now, uh, here next, i uh, like to show you one of the examples of a Kaya Shido. So, uh, look, I'm going to enter. He's going to make a Kaya Shido now, my, my opponent. Okay, he's going to make a Kaya Shido. And, uh, but because the man hits him first, so maybe it doesn't work too, but he's going to make a Kaya Shido. But, yeah, let's have a look. So I did a Kaishido in fact, but I completely missed him because his men is so fast that even if I had the center, even if I did the Kaishido, his men was faster. So he hit me before I could react. Have a look at it again. He his men goes faster than my reaction. Look, look, and boom. So he hits me much before I made the door. So that's a slow reaction for a Kaishido. It has to be fast. Uh, let's go on. Let's go on. We have covered Kaishido. And uh, let's look at this beautiful technique that he does. It's called the uh, uh, Kote Suryagana. Very, very beautiful technique. Uh, I'd like to show you. So let's go to 1254. Uh, so 1254, he makes a beautiful Kote Suryagana. Yeah, look. So he's going to, he's going to make it. And I, I'm going for Kote. And he, he, he so beautiful, beautiful. So, it's so beautiful that I, I look, I kind of uh, turn and I bow to him. So there's a slight bow look. So there's a slight bow from acknowledging his beautiful Suryagya Mansra. Kote uh, Suryagya So let's have a look at it again, how he does it. So I go for the Kote, I go for the Kote, and he parries it and poof. Nothing beautiful. So I go for the cutter, he parries it, and it's beautiful, beautiful. Uh, moving on, let's have a good example of a kaishido. Let's show you a good, good example of a kaishido. Okay, look at this now. Uh, this is a, a good example of a kaishido which I make on him. He moves forward and he does his men and ba -ba! You see, that's a kaishido. So once again, come and so I want to stop it. Let me just show you once again. I add, he does his neck, move, stop the Kaishido, and come on. All right, so this is the timing that you require for the Kaishido. Now, uh, moving on to Kote strike, um, I'd like to show you that he makes a very beautiful Kote strike on me. And I'd like to show you that one. So, at, at, here, look, uh, I'm going to go forward, he's going to hit me and Kote. So here I have a desire to hit him. So my shinai goes up, desire to hit him then. Because of my desire, I move forward, my hand goes up. And at this instance, he's going to hit a beautiful kote. You see that? Beautiful kote. So I acknowledge it. Very nice. I get it. And I hit him. Very beautiful kote. And uh, here I'd like to quickly show you another one, which is Aiman. Aiman is when both the opponents move together. So, so we are trying to hit men together, each other together. So you see, we both hit men at the same time. He does men, I do men at the same time. When we both go together at the same time, it's called I men. I men achieve. All right, have a look. I men achieve together. I'm I men. I men. You see, it's together. This is called I men when it happens together. And uh, finally, one of the most complex techniques I'd like to show you the last one. It's called Kote Kaishin Men. Very, very complex. But this person, Kajago Sain, is very strong. He pulled it off. So let's show you how it's done. So please look at this, uh, the big guy over here. He's uh, inviting him, inviting him. The small guy does the Kote Boom. You see that? So uh, the little guy did the Kote. And in response to the Kote, he makes a beautiful Kote Kaishin Men. So have a look at it again. Kote Kaishin Men. Boom, boom. You see that? Beautiful, this is beautiful. He does. Okay, no. No. So, beautiful. Yeah, I think that will be all for today. So, please let me know if you have any questions. Thank you very much.